Hey guys, so starting off this video before we get into like the main stuff, just to talk about real quick, uh, we're all pretty much asking for a bit of help. So this video is coming out kind of late because there's been a lot just going on within the last two months. So Ophelia, my sweet little hamster, um, she, well, to start the story is about two months ago, I found like a little bit of like a lump around her neck, chest, region um we took her to the vet they tried to extract what might be in there thinking it might be a cyst or something um and it wasn't until we scheduled surgery that it turned out to be like a freaking mass not not necessarily a tumor um but just a mass and then we thought we got it all uh, mind you this costs obviously a lot of money um however like in three weeks after the surgery, within three weeks after the surgery, she, I felt like another little pea-sized thing occurring and it started to grow. And then I thought I felt like a secondary one when I took her back to the vet and we we're like, oh my gosh, it's growing back twofold. And it was growing quickly and we had to schedule a surgery to like remove it. And at that time, luckily the vet had kept the mass from the last surgery, sent it off to pathology. It came back as like a, a lymphoma, so a cancer. So they op operated on her. Turns out there was four masses inside of her. Um, it was a bit tougher of a procedure and a recovery for her. Like nearly three days after she wasn't running on her wheel or anything. Whereas the first surgery, she like bounced back super quick. She had a lot of fluid retention in her face. She looked super pudgy and stuff. Um, and so, yeah, we're going through quite a round of medication. Of course, like antibiotics. We finished the pain meds. Um, she's taking some heart medication because her heart's a little bigger than usual. Um, but yeah, it was quite a financial toll. Um, so I never thought I would have to do this, but I set up a GoFundMe uh, for Ophelia. Um, it only covers like the cost of the second surgery because I don't know. I feel a bit too guilty if I asked for more than that, um, even though they're you know the pathology, the medication, it's all costed quite a lot of money um so it's been difficult then to also buy more supplements and all this other stuff so i can make videos for you guys um so i'm just asking for a bit of help there's gonna be a gofundme link in the description box below um and i'll pin a comment as well if you guys just even a dollar freaking would be amazing you know whatever you might be willing to give just to help her out because it's been kind of an emotional toll for me just to watch her go through all this um she's taking chemo treatment and i mean i've done a little a lot of research on the stuff that she's taking of course and of course this is all stuff that's been used on hamsters and so she's seen like freaking specialist she has a freaking animal oncologist uh appointment coming up but anyways um i know i wanted to make this quick and brief uh, before we do the regular video um just ask for a, ask for a bit of help um, yeah, and prayers for her that she recovers from this and that no more masses come back. So she's only, um, a little bit over one week post op her second operation. And yeah, her, the, all this medication that she's taking this time is making her a bit ill. She's lost definitely a little bit of weight, not too much. And so I'm trying to help syringe fade as much as I can. But, um, yeah, let's get to the video. If you want to donate, please do. It would mean the world to us. Um, so, yeah. What is up, you guys? It's Katya Books. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a hot minute since I've posted in a while and I've had some protein that I need to review, but I was sick for a bit, but then I got better. So now I'm here. Life has also been crazy. Little Ophelia hasn't been the greatest. She's had freaking surgery a few weeks ago and might need to have surgery again. So please have little Ophelia in your prayers, please, as she goes through all these medical things because they aren't cheap and they aren't fun to have to do for a little hamster like her. But anyways, we are here for a protein review. Yes, I'm pretty excited for this one because I've known of this brand for quite some time. And for as long as I could remember, they didn't have a vegan protein. So I don't know when they came out with this one, but they finally did. So anyways, 
Today we are going to be trying their vegan protein. They've got two flavors, got both of them right here. One of them is peanut butter banana and the other one is vanilla coconut. So very unique in that they didn't go with the classic vanilla and strawberry but wanted to mix it up a bit. Especially coconut vanilla because that's not too popular. So I'm excited to try this one. Anyways, so for the coconut vanilla, for one scoop, which is 27.3 grams, it is 100 calories, two grams of fat, one carb, and 20 protein. That's pretty good macros. And ingredients is pea protein, rice protein, natural flavors, gum blend, um, which is like guar gum, santham gum, stevia, sodium chloride, and monk fruit extract. So pretty clean, and as you know, I really like to see a pea protein and rice protein mix so that I know you're getting your full aminos. So that is perfecto. As for the peanut butter banana, for one scoop, 29 grams. That is 110 calories, three grams of fat, one carb, and 20 grams of protein. So again, great macros. It shows that it's got calcium, iron, phosphorus, chloride, sodium, and potassium. Um, and as well as an enzyme blend. So that's always kind of a plus to have a nice digestive enzyme blend. Nothing fancy like a greens or antioxidants blend in there, but a good post-workout protein. But what also makes it a good post-workout protein is if it tastes good. So I'm gonna mix up both of these with just some water and then we are going to taste test them together. All right, so I've got the vanilla coconut right here and it mixed up super easily. Smelled so good. You could smell the coconut in it. So I'm pretty excited for that. Whoops. Oh, that smells really good. You can kind of smell the pea protein in it, which isn't a bad thing, but I can smell the coconut. That's really good. Wow, the coconut is so good. Oh my gosh. And the vanilla. I mean, you could taste that it is I mean, you could call the flavor coconut and you wouldn't have to call it coconut vanilla and I would still believe you. But wow, this is really good. I'm really enjoying this one. Pretty smooth. There is a teeny bit of texture. Could be from like the rice protein mix, but it's nothing that's bad or discomforting in any ways. But it's not as smooth as some other protein powders that I've had before on this channel. But taste-wise, it's really good. I mean, I can't wait to try this like with my morning oatmeal or with my pre-workout with the cream of rice. Like this would probably taste really freaking good. All right, I'm gonna finish this up and then we're gonna try the peanut butter banana. All right, so we've got the peanut butter banana. And let me tell you, when you open up that tub, you get a nice whiff a banana in your face. So I don't know what to anticipate with this one. I'm really hoping the peanut butter does come through and that the banana's not too laffy taffy. So we shall see. Yeah, <laughs> you can smell the banana all right. And it's definitely reminds me of laffy taffy, which I don't mind, but I know a lot of people don't like that artificial banana taste, but we'll see. Mmm. Okay. So scent wise, the peanut butter doesn't come through, but taste wise, it definitely does come through. Like you first get that peanut butter and then that banana comes in a little bit later, but it's like a great balance of the two. I just will say that the banana is much more laffy taffy artificial tasting than it is real banana. So for some people, you may not like that per se, but I think it's really good. I enjoy it. Mmm, that's nice. I mean, hmm, I don't know. I mean, I would say just maybe the peanut butter could be a little bit stronger, but that's my personal preference because I love peanut butter, but it's not bad. It, it's a pretty good equal flavor of peanut butter to banana. So pretty darn bomb. So, I mean, good job, Axe and Sledge. So I'm gonna finish this up, clean up my space around me, and then we, will come to a consensus of what I think of this protein powder. All right, my friends, so we are at the end of the video, and so my overall thoughts on this protein powder, the plant-fed all-natural vegan protein from Ackland Sledge Supplements. What do I rate it? What do I think? Well, the vanilla coconut, I, w I would give that a 10 out of 10. Now, I know some people don't like coconut, so no, you won't like it, but for those who enjoy the flavor of coconut, this is so freaking good. 
and I love that it has the pea and brown rice protein powder. I don't mind this, there's, there's a tiny bit of texture, especially if you plan on putting this in your oatmeal or your cream of rice or even a smoothie, that is not gonna be a bother at all. Um, and even with water, I mean, it mixed up so easily uh, that the texture is just not really a problem to me. So that's why I personally give it a 10 out of 10, but you might not. And as for the peanut butter banana, I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10, only because I wish there's a little bit more peanut butter and the banana is just a little bit artificial tasting. So I know that it's not always the best. Like I do personally wish it was much more natural tasting than artificial, but I don't mind it necessarily. However, it overall tastes pretty darn good and it's a protein that I probably would buy again. If anything, I would probably be I would probably more likely buy the vanilla coconut than I would the peanut butter banana. However, it is pretty darn good. So if like say they had like a really good sale or something, sure, I would buy one. However, you guys know I do like my live body protein powder. But anyways, that is the wrap up for this video. I hope you did enjoy this review. If you did, give it a nice big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, thank you so much for the 3,000 subscribers. I'm really happy that we got there. So a little milestone for me. I'm hoping to come out with some more Jimmy content, but we shall see. Just trying to figure it all out, you know? So if you got any tips, tricks, comments, whatever, pop them down below what kind of videos you'd like to see that might be fitness or supplemental related. So anyways, I will let you go. Go get those gains, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.